Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Disney, once upon a time, it was your friend. Once upon a time, it was there to provide you with family-friendly entertainment. Now, that's not the case. Disney is here to steal your escapism and instead replace it with agenda-driven ideology, mostly filled with commie Marxist rhetoric and the not-so-secret agenda pushed by the Alphabet Mafia. It's, it's really depressing to have to do this over and over again, to have to remind people, to have to show people that Disney only wants to indoctrinate your kids, that they're only there to ruin the good time. They're not there to provide you with any sort of entertainment. And in the process of doing that, I myself and many others are constantly called racist, sexist, every little name under the book because we're pointing out when you look at Disney live action, when you look at Disney animation, when you look at Disney Star Wars, when you look at the MCU, when you look at Pixar, when you look at everything that is Disney, that they are the ones who are the actual racists, that they're the ones who are attacking fans. And it gets tiring. But then here comes someone who can back you up with it. And you realize maybe, just maybe, you aren't insane. Maybe, just maybe, you did see it right all along. And we have to thank Elon Musk for that. Elon Musk, in the past several months, has, let's be honest, gone to war with Bob Iger and Disney. He's done everything possible to make Bob Iger's day bad. From going out publicly to trolling him at every opportunity and possibly getting financially involved. Why do I say that? Well, yesterday when Gina Carano announced her lawsuit against Disney and Lucasfilm, we learned at the same time that she is being backed by Elon Musk. That's right. Elon Musk and his bottomless pockets will make sure Gina gets her day in court and doesn't have to settle with the mouse. At the same time, though, in the aftermath of the announcement, Elon dropped this little tidbit right here. An anonymous source just sent me this from Disney. It is mandatory institutionalized racism and sexism. As I said a moment ago, for years, myself and many other YouTubers, members of the fellowship, members of this sphere, real passionate fans, real actual nerds, we have been called every name in the book relating to racism and sexism. When in fact, when you look at this document here, it is Disney who are actually practicing racism and sexism. When you are forcing people to write stories talking about skin color and identity politics and gender issues, that's racism and sexism. When you are saying that black people, Latinos, Asians can only have their stories told when it's forced. That's racism. That's disrespect. You go around the world to all the actual cultural epicenters of Asia and let's just say, I'll say Africa, I'll say South America, where they have cultural stories that can be brought to life. No, they don't want to do that. Instead, they want to go through four different sections and say, we need to make sure that everything is inclusive and diverse. 50% of characters, more regular and reoccurring written characters come from underrepresented groups. 50% or more of regular reoccurring actors from underrepresented groups. 50% or more producers and above of writing staff and 50% more of co-producer and below and writing staff come from underrepresented groups. Series premise, meaningful integration from underrepresented groups, overall themes and narratives. Episodic storytelling has to have all the goddamn same thing. It says the same thing in every section of this, from the creative process to the production process. This steals not only from giving actual cultural stories a chance to be told without forced inclusion, forced diversity, but it steals and destroys from the creative process. No true creative can sit down and put out any story, any world with these kind of restrictive constraints, forcing you to tell a story that you don't want to tell, that you don't even have an idea to tell. And that's the point. It's not about a story with this. It's about agenda. It's about pushing DEI all over the place. This is not how it's supposed to work. And this is not how Disney worked for decades 
until the past 15, 20 odd years. When the not-so-secret agenda, when the ideologues, when the Marxist commie pieces of shit infiltrated and changed things. Because that's the only way they can get their message across when they slip it in and have it in there to indoctrinate your kids and create a new generation of mindless drones who will spew their dogma, their propaganda. This is the true racism and sexism in entertainment, forcing it, disrespecting where it should be coming from, not letting it grow organically, not letting people witness actual stories from, that have cultural relevance from all these groups across the world. Disney sucks. And whether Elon is going to buy Disney or not, that's not the point. In fact, I don't think Elon is going to buy Disney. I think he's just going to make it very difficult for Disney to do business as it has been. I think he's going to do everything possible within the law to influence the collapse of Disney. Because Disney should collapse. It shouldn't be saved. It shouldn't be fixed. It should fall apart. It should lose Lucasfilm. It should lose Marvel. It should lose Pixar. It should lose everything it has gobbled up for the past 20 years under Bob Iger. Because all it's done has destroy. It hasn't created anything. And this right here proves it. This is about control, indoctrination, corruption, and destruction. It's not about storytelling. It's not about family-friendly entertainment. And it sure as hell isn't about the spirit of Disney. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We're hoping to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny stand fake fan and SJW fees. Hit the notification button, share my videos if you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave a comment wanting to hear from a true passionate fan like you. I care what you think. I do not care what the stands fake fans and SJWs have to say because 201 they're all cowards behind keyboards. They'll call me every name under the sun for this video. And that just proves I'm right. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos. Maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at ROAS, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.